Traded once again on Rome, day three of the World Track and Field Championships. There are four finals, two on the track and two field events. In the women's 800 meters, Kretochvalova of Czechoslovakia defends her title. Peter Elliott and Tom McKean go in the semi-finals of the men's 800 meters. The great Ed Moses, of course, in the 400 meters hurdles with Danny Harris and Harold Schmidt. Plus, Akabusi and Robertson for Britain. Semi-finals here. World record holder Jackie Joyner of the USA begins her bid for a heptathlon gold. The Americans yet to win a gold medal at these games. But we start today with the women's 10,000 meters. Now, unluckily for them, and unlike the men, the girls have to compete in heats to qualify for Friday's final. In the first of those races, Ingrid Christensen, the world record holder, and Britain's hope, Liz Lynch. We pick it up with four laps to go. Entering the uh, last four laps of the first heat of the 10,000 meters, the first time this event has ever been run in the championships, and the world record holder, Ingrid Christensen of Norway, is the leader. In second place, Liz Lynch of Great Britain, the Commonwealth champion, Kuna of Portugal in third place, and these, by the way, three of the favorites for medals in the final. In fourth place, Lynn Jennings. Fifth is Yosimar of Finland. In sixth place, Renders of Belgium. And seventh, Angela Tooby of Great Britain. The qualifying, the first eight go through, so those seven look to be safe already, plus the six fastest losers. Just um, looking at the seating here, again, we find that uh, three of the potential medalists, gold, silver, and bronze, are out there in front, running in the same semi final. And the temperature down on the track there is well over 100 degrees, so the girls have found it uh, a little difficult to run at 10,000 meters, which really they are only committed to qualifying. There's no prizes for running fast times. There's no prizes for anything other than finishing in the first, in the first eight. And Ingrid Christensen showed a little bit of confidence there today by, uh, by running in her training shoes. She's good enough to do that. She's, she's only running about 34 minutes, but she made a sensible choice because running 10,000 meters on the track in a pair of spikes when the temperature is as hot as this can cause problems with blisters, and Ingrid is not interested in today's race. She's only concerned about the final. She's running relaxed there. She ran comfortably in the pack, then took off with one, for one lap and ran about 73 seconds, split the field apart, and now all she's got to do is settle down, relax, and run around and just wonder about the next time. I think it's possibly worth stressing that uh, it's easy qualifying for Ingrid, but she has got a problem. That's the uh, other reason for wearing those training shoes. She's had an injury on and off all season. Uh, that decided whether she ran the marathon or not, and she elected not to run the marathon uh, because of the cobbles in the Rome streets. Possibly a good decision. And uh, the reason she's in training shoes, as well as for comfort, uh, she doesn't uh, need the basic speed that... Uh, Spikes will help. Um, apart from the comfort aspect, uh, she's also not risking injury. And that injury problem that Ingrid's had all season um, has been the cause of her slipping away from favoritism because last year, if you remember, she was, she was invincible. She came out in the London Marathon and ran brilliantly in that, you know, on, on, on schedule for a world record time that day. But uh, she's had a setback since the London Marathon and um, she's here now. She's feeling more confident by the day. But her coach was telling me the other day that she just wishes she had another few weeks. Well, she doesn't have a few weeks, but she's got right alongside her Liz Lynch, who's now really taking the world-class competition at 10,000 meters as, as her property. That's Marlow of uh, Kenya, who was up with the leaders for a long, long time, but my word, she's dropped back very quickly, and she's suffering in this heat, really finding it very, very hard indeed. Liz Lynch, coached by uh, John Anderson, comes from Dundee, and John says, well, She's had a dream preparation, and certainly she's had a, a dream season as well. Everything seems to have gone right. All her build-up, there's been no interruptions at all. Her racing has been highly successful. Uh, she's been keeping away from the 10,000 meters distance and concentrating on the shorter distances uh, to sharpen her basic speed, and it certainly seems to have gone well. Kunhara, Portugal. It's interesting looking at the three. Watch them closely, because you may well be watching the gold silver and bronze medalists. This time they've got the bell. 
one wouldn't like to say yet in which order because we'd be tempting fate if we put anything, any extra pressure on Liz Lynch because this is the first time that Liz Lynch has come into a major championship with this kind of pressure. Even though she did respond to the Commonwealth Games, that was her first real experience of international athletics. She's got better this year and she's uh, reveling in this international competition. This is her first 10,000 meters of the year and quite sensibly she stayed away from the longer races. She's sharpened up all season and she's been looking very, very impressive. But I wouldn't discount Ingrid Christensen. She's a great, great athlete. And of course, the Soviet athletes too. But Romanova, one of the favourites for the Soviet Union, only ran the first lap in this and dropped out, which uh, can only mean she's concentrating, we believe, on the 3,000 metres. The first eight short of qualify, and Angela Tooby is certain to do that. She's back now in about uh, fifth, sixth position. So it's Kuna of Portugal, Lynch of Great Britain in second place. It's Ulrich of East Germany coming up on the outside, uh, making the gesture. She wants to be first to the tape. It doesn't really matter. And Ulrich comes through uh, to win and qualify for East Germany. And the final on Friday. Liz Lynch in second place, Kunar's third, Christensen four, Arendas of Belgium five. Opica of Switzerland, uh, Led General of America, next. Angela Tooby follows in qualifying, and Opliga of Switzerland. So racing through there is uh, Kaber of uh, Luxembourg, followed by Araki of Japan. But the two British girls have qualified easily, along with two of the favourites. In fact, three of the favourites in many ways. One mustn't forget Ulrich. Um, but two of the uh, outstanding athletes, Christensen and Kuna. Well, easy qualification in a sense, but very hard work. Angela Tooby is also through.